Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore how to close a septal perforation. My name is Stephen Hauser. I am an otolaryngologist, specifically a rhinologist, in practice in Cleveland, Ohio. This endoscopic view shows the patient's septal perforation from the right side. The perforation is now seen from the left side and the ruler is actually a bit away from the perforation itself. In actuality, the perforation is approximately 1.5 centimeter in length. This coronal CAT scan image clearly depicts the septal perforation. We are limited to closing a perforation which is really no larger than 2.5, perhaps 3 centimeters in its longest dimension. An angled ophthalmology blade as well as alloderm are essential to complete this surgery. The back portion of the septal perforation is then incised with a blade, in this case an ophthalmology straight knife, though also a 15 blade works quite nicely. A left-sided hemitransfixion incision is then carried out in this patient as we plan to do a rotation flap on the patient's right side. So we now are seeing the incision on the left. The flap can be quite difficult to raise as the patient typically has had this area violated by prior surgery. But with great care we can elevate the mucosa and reach to the anterior aspect of the perforation which we will then break through to join with our more posterior cuts which we have already made. Here we are elevating the mucosa on the patient's left side of their septum, elevating up the perforation itself. Within the septal flap itself we can see a prominent septal spur located in the back portion of the patient's nose and this will be removed concurrently with the perforation closure. This coronal CAT scan image shows that septal spur that we are taking out. We then slide a foil pack from suture material into the patient's septoplasty incision to help protect the left septal flap so that when we make cuts on the right side for our rotation flap, we will not go through. Here we are using the angled ophthalmology knife to cut from posterior, looping up superior, and then anterior to connect with the anterior aspect of the perforation to create our rotation flap on the patient's right side. The rotation flap on the right side is rotated into position. This drawing depicts the septal rotation flap from the right side. It is actually flipped from a prior publication. Again, this is the right side where the septal flap has been rotated now to cover the perforation. As the rotation flap is rotated down from above, we can see the donor site or basically naked cartilage above this perforation site which acted as the donor and this will mucosalize in time. The most difficult portion of the surgery is to suture the rotation flap into position. This is typically done with loop magnification and an endoscopic needle driver with fluorochromic on a tapered needle as well as gut suture on baby Keith needles. A view from the inside of the septal flap shows that the rotation flap from the right side is closing the perforation nicely. A view from the left side now shows the septal mucosa has been replaced into position and this is now over acellular dermis or alloderm which has been slid into the septal flap and is shining out through the perforation on the left side. This drawing shows the alloderm slid into place below the lining and now shining out of the exposed perforation site. 
This picture is also flipped from a prior publication. Please excuse that fact. The acellular dermis, which is exposed through the perforation on the left side, whereas it is fully covered on the right side, will actually mucosalize fairly rapidly. And the portion which is facing outward is the more epidermal surface of the acellular dermal graft. The left-sided hemitransfixion incision is closed and Silastic splints, in this case Doyle splints, coated in Bacterban, are placed into the nasal cavity and sutured with 2 proline stitch. These are left in place for approximately three weeks. Septal perforations can be quite troublesome with crusting and bleeding, but fortunately we have fairly reliable techniques that can close a perforation and allow you to feel much better.